Unrivaled hardware power, technological prowess, and a rising emphasis on online gaming, video games have come a long way from their humble beginnings. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 games of the 7th generation. When taking into consideration the consoles of this generation, we included games from the Nintendo Wii, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, as well as PC games released between 2006 and 2012. And, just so you know, a lot of our personal favorites didn't make this list, just because of how tough the competition was. As usual, one game per franchise. Hold tight. <laughs> yeah. I'll be in touch. <laughs> Number 10, Minecraft. <laughs> Indie games started to get mainstream recognition during this generation, and none had more impact or success than Minecraft. Giving users the freedom to play any way they want, there's no specific goals to accomplish, but the fun lies in exploring, gathering resources, crafting buildings and items, fighting and surviving. The game world generates as you explore it, offering a unique experience with every playthrough. Number 9, Fallout 3. Glad to see you're finally awake. I can't believe they made you do that stuff. Stupid ceremony. Post-apocalyptic landscapes are a popular setting these days, but Fallout 3 took the theme to new heights. As the lone wanderer, you travel across the capital wasteland to find your father, who mysteriously disappears from the safety of the vault that shelters you. Players can choose to play in first or third person, and do battle using the innovative VATS mechanic, which paid homage to the game's turn-based roots and showcased the literal eye-popping gore. Number 8, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. With a contemporary setting and arsenal, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare soared above its predecessors and successors as the elite entry in the franchise. A cinematic campaign lets you play as different characters trying to thwart the plans of Russian ultra-nationalists. Gotta get the broaching from the north. Take him out quietly or just let him pass. Your call. Tango day. While the amazing multiplayer offers various game modes to build that kill streak, allowing you to level up and unlock more weapons, gear, and perks. And let's not forget that jaw-dropping nuke scene. Into this arm, I repeat. Everyone hang on. Number seven, Batman: Arkham City. What? Oh. The Dark Knight's been incarcerated in an open-air prison housing Gotham's baddies, common thugs, and supervillains alike. The only way to get by in this place is to get ourselves some respect. Fear. That's how we get respect. Show them all that we do things. Now unrestricted by the walls of the asylum, and with more gadgets and villains than ever, Batman Arkham City soars high and dive bombs its competition. More importantly, it's a game that really made you feel like the Caped Crusader something that countless superhero games tried and failed to do. I'm sorry I've been a bad kitty. Untie me and I'll make it up to you. Number six, The Last of Us. Hurry up, come on. Come on. Hey there. Naughty Dog's Uncharted series was also groundbreaking, but this game proved to be their finest work yet. Set in a post-apocalyptic United States that has been decimated by infected fungus zombies, lead characters Joel and Ellie have to find scattered weapons to deal with the infected and hostile humans alike, all possessing incredible AI. In a thrilling and emotional trip that takes its place as the best PS3 exclusive title. I'm sorry about your daughter, Joel, but I have lost people too. You have no idea what loss is. Number five, Bioshock. Whatever you thought about right and wrong on the surface, well, that don't count for much down in Rapture. A beautiful game with an atmospheric sense of dread, horror, and melancholy that reign over your every step, Bioshock puts you in the shoes of a lone survivor of a plane crash that has led to Rapture, an underwater utopian city. Added to the standard arsenal of firearms, you've got bioengineered plasmids, which function as the game's version of magic. 
allowing for a huge variety of ways to tackle your terrifying foes. You'll have to deal with splicers and big daddies to unravel the suspenseful, twisted story. Would you kindly try this game? Number 4. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Presenting a richly detailed world, massive in its size and scope, Skyrim allows gamers to customize their character on their mission to stop the newly returned dragons from destroying the world. The bulk and intrigue of the game emerges from its peripheral quests, allowing for extensive replay value and gameplay that's designed to cater to any playstyle, topped off by a phenomenal symphonic score. Just don't catch an arrow in the knee. Number 3. Super Mario Galaxy 2 The Italian plumber still continues to surprise us. Super Mario Galaxy 2 and its predecessor reinvented the platforming series by introducing new game mechanics such as gravity while moving across floating planetoids. Whee! With jumping controls as precise as they come, you make your way through multiple planets and galaxies to the tune of an amazing soundtrack. Collecting the 242 stars isn't easy, but thankfully Mario has a few friends to help him along the way. Yaha! Number 2. Mass Effect 2 The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The sci-fi story that captivated us more than any other franchise this generation, as Commander Shepard, players travel across the galaxy, constructing a diverse team of allies in order to lead a suicide mission against the Collectors, which is perhaps the greatest final mission of this generation. With third-person shooter action that focuses on squad-based teamwork, combined with a cast so memorable we made a list dedicated to them, Mass Effect 2 is the pinnacle chapter of this memorable trilogy. Before we reveal our number one game, here's a look at some honorable mentions. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean with one of these. Know how far you are between notorious and incognito. Number one, Portal Two. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there, and if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. Valve does it again with the series that reinvented the puzzle genre. With the introduction of the unique mechanics in the original Portal, the second game gave us a lengthier campaign and a new co-op mode for experiencing the challenge with a friend. Traversing through a series of puzzles using the portal gun that creates interspatial portals between two flat planes, players enjoy humorous writing, the return of GLaDOS, and the companion cube. Portal 2 is a textbook example of fun and creativity in perfect motion. Let there be light. That's, uh, God. It's quoting God. There were so many incredible games in this excessively long generation, it's impossible to include them all. So let us know what some of your favorite games were, and for more awesome top 10s published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I work for Bellathor at the General Goods Store. First. <laughs> <laughs>